The Multipurpose Senior Service Program is an alternative for nursing home placement. It's a case management program that works to keep seniors safe at home. It has a nurse and a social worker that meet with the client and hopefully a caregiver, family caregiver, neighbor who's ever involved in their care to try and work out what we call a care plan, a list of items and services that we're gonna provide to work with that person, again, to try to keep them stable and at home as long as possible. Most of the clients have multiple medical conditions, strokes, heart attacks, cognitive delays. Some of them might have early onset Alzheimer's. Um, many of them functionally are not where they were just a few years ago. They might be using walkers, wheelchairs, those sorts of things. We have a lot of clients that struggle with diabetes, you name it. Um, it's also not uncommon for the clients to feel loss and some depression as things are changing in their life. And again, they're just struggling to be independent and safe at home. The stress is killing me. Okay. Before it not was my vision. And I was his brain, you know. Right. Right now it's me and me. Yeah, you're making that transition. I didn't know the culture of America. No language. From the second month I started going to college and started working in one year to survive, to give him money for my children to go have higher education because education was so important for me. I lost my vision in seven. I didn't quit. I didn't quit. I said, no way, I have to raise my children. I came in this country with ambition. <laughs> so I went to Braille Institute. I learned Braille. Without this program, I wouldn't survive at all. Financially, emotionally, everything. They are helping me so much. Especially Dana. I trust him. Sorry. She and her husband, we signed up on the program six months ago. Um, her husband passed in January, so this is the first time I've seen her since he passed. Um, I know they were both, and she's very grateful that we've been able to help provide transportation to UCLA specialty appointments, um, provide dial ride tickets to help them out and, you know, help keep her safe at home and supported. I met Helen and her daughter uh, in, uh, in our office. Uh, they were there for a hike up and then I happened to see them and I introduced myself knowing that they're Filipinos. So I gave them my uh, business card and also explained a little bit about the program. And so they got interested and called me and that's how it all started. As a nurse care manager, um, I get to see the, the clients yearly and really I am kind of assessing how their year has gone, uh, if they've gone to the hospital, if they're falling. Um, I'm also able to um, talk about any, any health issues that maybe um, aren't being addressed at their doctor's appointments give them some advice on how to access the, the healthcare system. The services she provided allows her to stay home. Okay. You know, otherwise, you know, we have to find another, you know, place for her to, to live. Okay. Because um, she can't be on her own. Mm -hmm. 
So no, this is, you guys are angels. You're, you're a godsend. <laughs> you really are. <laughs> Podemos apelar algo, porque usted debe ser más cómodo y, y hay que levantar las piernas. We were discussing um, the swelling in his legs. It's a, it's um, a symptom of the heart failure and um, he needs to elevate his legs but the process of getting a hospital bed for the elevation is really complex. Sometimes um, the doctor isn't aware of how severe the condition is so they, they might not approve the medical equipment when he in fact really needs it because right now he's um, sleeping on a recliner with his legs elevated by um, a home, home appliance, which isn't really safe and it's not comfortable. In order to get him the medical equipment, we need, um, we need to go back to the doctor and um, appeal again for the medical equipment.